A new demolition contract will mark the end of an era in Cedar Rapids in a step toward flood recovery. The NW on Ellis Boulevard is one of 12 structures slated to come down within the next month. Dave and Don are from a generation that just knows how to fix things. That means they also know when it's time to let something go. I think the A&W was a great place for this neighborhood in the past, but I don't think it's pertinent to our society today. D&D Engineering is right across the street from the old building. I know a lot of people have fond memories of it. In fact, we've had a lot of people stop by here reminiscing. My dad bringing pony dogs home every Tuesday. Glenda Fillenworth's shop is also right across the street from the all-American food ghost that's awaited its fate since the floods of 2008. For five years I've had to look at what it looks like now. But within the next three weeks it's coming down. And while these painted glass windows boasting onion rings, floats and of course dogs will soon be a memory. The St. James United Methodist Church is bringing back the A&W experience during the flashback on Ellis. It's an event at the end of the month that's honoring the neighborhood icon. Let's sell coney dogs and root beer floats or something like that. That's just what they'll do. A dose of A&W nostalgia. Maybe heartburn with the coney dogs. <laughs> because as time keeps moving. I hope is that it'll revitalize the neighborhood to have a new business in there. There will always be something needing rejuvenation. The flashback on Ellis is September 28th at the St. James United Methodist Church just north of the A&W. Now the event is from 3 until 8 and everyone is invited.